everybody my name is Nogwa Zimzobe from Matuana Media and today we're talking about manage your business and um, we'll be talking about tools and business systems that can help you do this better so you must be wondering why we're we doing this well as you can see that emoji over there that's been me so this is for the SME for the SME who's been where I am whether you're a solopreneur, whether there's two or three of you, you know, and you have spent money on, you know, resources and people to come do graphics for you or have paid accountants astronomical amounts of money and you just like, this doesn't make sense. This really, really doesn't make sense. You don't have money for all of these things. So yeah, this is for you, DSME. So some bookkeeping and accounting tools inexpensive so you don't have to be spending a whole lot of money um so the first one is sage one okay look i use this i am pretty happy with it not a lot of, uh, some people have said they're not happy with it but guess what it is online you can link your bank feed to it you can share the bank end with your accountant and you can see your your custom invoices you can upload your suppliers really like for me even if i'm on the road five minutes on the side send a quick invoice send a quick quote and you continue with your life you don't have to create an excel sheet where if your computer crashes then it's lost and you're going through all of that no use sage one or any similar tool to that the other one is it's amazing Okay, I'll be honest, I haven't used it. Um, it's, but what I love about it is that it's South African and it's more than just an accounting tool. I think you can get other tools. I think some um, legal docs and some HR things as well. So yeah, you should check that one out. QuickBooks competes with Sage One. So pretty much accounting management, bookkeeping, invoicing. Um, yes, there are some people who prefer that. So QuickBooks is another option. Wave. Wave again is another one, pretty much inexpensive. I think it has a freemium model where you can start off for free, but as you add on, you start to pay. So also check that one out. Now, another pet peeve. Hey, don't you just hate it when you go to markets? and people just say cash only i mean in this day and age cash only so it means that on the way to a market to go have fun i need to remember to stop off at a caltex garage and withdraw cash and then guess what the caltex garage doesn't have a standard bank atm it has an apsa so then now i need to drive to another one or pay astronomical fees for withdrawing from another atm come on guys if you're gonna be at a market, there are now inexpensive POS tools. You don't have to get a big bank one. So again, you've seen it, they're inexpensive. Really, really, really think of getting one of these. Yoko, I love Yoko. We did our research when we got Yoko. Um, we did a comparison. So the first thing that we did, we looked at all the banking POSs and, and, and basically looked at what the cost would be to utilize them. And then what we did is then we actually went to other people who utilized Yoko. And let me just add an iCocca. And we went to people who also use iCocca. And we asked them, what is your preference? Have you used either or? Which one do you use? What are the pros, what are the cons? And even though iCocca came out slightly cheaper, we went for Yoko and we haven't been disappointed. The one thing I must point out with both of these, you do need to have internet access. So I, I guess with all of them. Um, so make sure you have data, enough data on your phone or on your dongle to be able to um, be able to take payments with, from clients. But I will tell you this, right? I had a situation where people wanted to buy books from us and half of them didn't have money and thank goodness my team member Tamba had left the iCocca in the car I was able to grab it and I sold five books cash but I ended up selling another seven books using the iCocca so really don't don't have a missale because you don't have the right POS system 
And Snap Scan, you've seen it everywhere, the QR code, your people, you come with your phone, there's another option, right? So I'm sure there's a whole lot more out there, but the message is, is that there are inexpensive financial management tools out there that can help you manage your finances and your, yeah, your finances and your sales better. So invest in them. And that's it.